Well, you know, I've been thinking about uh, sharing more with my with my kids. I did uh, I I did it in written form via the internet, uh, you know, emails last year and that sort of thing. But I've been thinking it might be nice, you know, it might be an idea to have me on a video or something, and so so they could see me. They may even, you know, they may want to keep it around that sort of thing. So anyway, that's kind of what's on my mind. Well, it was it was really good. I, I I hadn't. I mean, it sounds nuts, but I never planned on having any kids. I never not planned on having kids. But I just when I got married, I didn't think about having children. I mean, that's I was sort of doing my own thing. I joined the navy to see the world, and got you know that obviously wasn't what the right thing to do. And I, well, I guess it was the right thing to do at the time, but I realized that was a bit of a dead end, and I made a shift, went back to school, and looked at possibly other careers and things like that. And I really, I really became a family guy. I never, frankly, anticipated being a family guy, but I, I became a family guy. Anyway, so I got the four children. They've all been very successful. I'm really proud of them. They've all got master's degrees, and they, they just did it on their own. They just, they got bachelors, and then decided one day we're going to try them. We said I'm going to get a master's each of them, and, and uh, basically did it on their own and stuff like that. So I'm quite proud of them. I'm not sure if it's specific for each of them otherwise, but I did go to all their Christmas concerts and various concert things, and I really enjoyed doing that. I got involved with the elementary school, and they were asked, one of the teachers asked if I'd help. And they also in grade one had a, had a teacher who was a friend of ours from our church who was just old school. You know, she just, you know, you had to work, you know, and read and write and arithmetic kind of thing. But she was the old school, and they all got very good educations. And they all did well in school, and I attributed a part to themselves to that first grade teacher, frankly. Oh, it was really rewarding. I really, really enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I realized I wasn't the greatest communicator in the world, but I realized I could be there. You know, and my kids have probably heard this story before, but my I played four years of high school football. My father, who was a busy lawyer, came to one game. And I actually remember the game he came to. I remember the field it was on. It was a field that was called Hillcrest High. And that we went to a different school, but this is the field the game was on. I remember looking up and he was quite a tall man and dressed up and wore a fedora and that kind of thing. And I can remember seeing him come in partway through the game. But unfortunately, that's the only game he ever got around to. In those days, parents were busy, that sort of stuff. It was just the way it was. So I resolved that if I ever got, uh, you know, had kids that I would, uh, you know, I, I'd be at everything. And there's very few things I've ever missed. No, no, my kids are good. I've sorted a lot of personal stuff and things, so hopefully they won't have too much to do. And I've got a box for each of them, and then the rest of the stuff they can look at and decide if they want it or not. That's basically where I'm at. You know, that's the one thing I think that I, and we spent a lot of time as a family. It was always a priority to do family things. And I think that helped them bond together, the four of them. We used to have a ski cabin, and then we all go up to the ski cabin. The youngest daughter didn't like to ski, but she skied anyway. But it's still, I think, it was bonding between them all up there. Well, they're all good kids and they support each other. If one has a problem, just there for them. We still have to work on that, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to be buried up in Kelowna. She, yeah, she, she knows what to do and she knows how to get up. Yeah, but I think probably Kelowna is where I probably want to be. We believe definitely in the hereafter. I still remember driving over the Capilano River and the Lion Gate Bridge on the Upper Levels Highway, and this feeling came to me, I'm sure it's from Heavenly Father, just don't worry about it. So I've thought about it from time to time, but I've literally never worried about it. You know, love just expands. You know, you have your four kids of your own, and Sure, you know, you really love them, but if you have a fifth kid, you're going to love them. And, you know, it's all good. It's uh, it's it's more than just a touchy-feely platitude. It's just all good. It feels good. You know, life is relationships. It really is all the stuff you do, all the stuff you gather, even the trips you take around the world or wherever you go. You know, it's still all really stuff in a way, and it's really the relationships. 
and I'm so proud of my children all being in uh, all being in a job where they're caring for people and helping kids. Particularly, it's, it's all kids, really. And um, so I'm really proud of my kids, and I'm proud of my family. There's space on the other side for us as families, and uh, just a matter of moving on from one life onto another life.